Hello. Um, today I am going to be playing blindfold chess. Um, I uh, my semester is coming up to an end here, and I uh, my goal is by the end of the semester, or my goal is by the end of my break, uh, which is like five weeks, uh, that I will be able to play a game of blindfold chess um, without blundering anything immediately. Um, so, we'll see how it goes. It should be, it should prove painful. I imagine I will blunder many things. Um, I've played blindfold chess a couple times, uh, over the board. I, I played a couple times online as well, and I think online's way easier because you can look at the board. Um, one of the problems I have whenever I am playing over the board blindfold chess is that I will, uh, I'll forget the color of squares, um, and so I'll have to spend a lot of time figuring out what color of squares, or what color each square is, and like, you know, if my piece can actually affect that square. Normally, it's, the problem I run into is with knights, um, I'm already off to a little bit of a bad start because I I'm not familiar with the ready. I guess another benefit of um uh, blind chess online is that I I have the move order here, so I know what I've played. Um, I know it's been played. So for the for the most of my goal is not necessarily to win a game of blind chess by the end, but it's to be able to keep enough track of the pieces that I'm not like forgetting where things are. Um, that's my main goal over the next month and a week. Um, and I'll be trying to play as much over the board blind chess as I can. But online blind chess is a lot easier, um, just logistically. You don't need another person with you immediately. Okay. I can always consider captures, captures, e5. Um, but the problem I run into is captures, knight captures, and there's a double attack against my d-pawn which I only am defending with my queen, so it's not really actually that reasonable. So I think I'll be happy that my knight, my bishop is outside of the pawn structure, and I'll probably just close it. And now we're going to enter into probably like some, I imagine c4 will come and we'll get some like, you know, d4 position that I'm more familiar with. So, some like weird London kind of thing. Hmm. Now I'm debating between knight f6 and bishop e7. I don't know if move order particularly matters in this instance. Um, but maybe, probably knight f6 is more principled. I'll definitely welcome this. If he wants to play g4, I'm okay with that. I, I won't mind backing up to g6, and he'll be pretty weak over here, and I'll move my knight somewhere, and then I'll uh, push f5, I mean. So, I think I'm okay with this, for the most part. I'm not exactly sure why I played h3. I guess he gains space, a little bit of time, but it's kind of weakening anyways, and I don't, I don't know, maybe maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. My moves, I'm thinking about c4 and bishop e7, 
c5, sorry, c5 and bishop e7. And he's preparing c4. Um, I could get castled, or I could try to... I'm just going to get castled, because I don't want to have to deal with... I don't have to deal with crazy positions. I'm not totally worried with winning the game. I'm worried with not dropping pieces. So, and remembering where pieces are. Now, I don't really think I can capture this pawn. I don't think I want him to capture it either. Because I think that gives him, like, he has, like, the minority attack then. Coming in. And also... Wait, he won't. But I don't find any benefit for myself by capturing. I'll be staring at... This D4 pawn, which I guess I have breaks on, right? But I have this B file, which you can use. If I don't capture... And he captures. I guess I can... I can push C6 and capture back. Oh, wait. My knight's on C6. No, it's not. Okay. I'm already going crazy. My knight is on C6. I'm actually going insane. Okay, well, I think I'm just going to castle. If he wants to capture it, I'll let him capture it. I guess I'll tell you a little bit about myself while well, just sitting around waiting. I, I could be thinking about the position more, but to be quite frank, I don't think it will really help. Um, I think the more I talk about the position, the more confused I will become because I'll be imagining variations that are not on the board. Uh, so I, I'm not sure if that's like actually the best course of action for me currently. Do I fear in Keto, my light squared bishop? Oh my god, my light squared bishop isn't even there. <laughs> this is like the craziness the craziness that I go through whenever I play blindfolded is like I keep thinking of ideas and then I realize that the piece isn't where I think it is. And it's a it's a whole mess. Let me let me try to map out where the pieces are. Alright, these are pawns. That should be all of his pieces. Mine are here. Alright. Nope, this isn't there. Okay. I almost find it easier in a way to play... I do more visualization, I think, if I if I play over the board blindfold chess rather than this. Um, I'm kind of thinking like a a a. F yeah, I'm kind of thinking like a five a four. Just like get a line open. I'm not really scared. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do it. Like I should just play a move. Time will become a problem as well, because I won't be I won't be any good in a time scramble. I have a spectator. It's probably one of his friends. I can't imagine he'd be spectating. 
this other than a friend of his. I guess that was a poor plan. Why I, I have bishop b4 though to maybe like try to remove that. Or I could capture the pawn, recaptures, and then a4, a3 to like try to like kick away his bishop and maybe like get a strong square. But I'm pretty sure that pawn would just be really weak and he'd probably capture it. Um, additionally, like it's kind of sacrificing my b5 square, which is blocked, but I should be able to regain it, maybe? No, not really. Um, I don't like the pressure, so, um, a lot of the reason why I don't like the pressure is because I can't see it, so I, I, it's, it's a lot harder for me to make calculations, especially because I miss things that are going on in other parts of the board. At least this is the plan, I guess. Capture, capture, I could also go A, f no, my fucking pawn's in A5. Yeah, like I said, I'm a mess. Let's just capture. I, I really don't like them giving up B5, and I think this is objectively a bad move. But, once again, we're just, uh, just trying to keep track of all of our pieces, is the goal. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna... A, a worse position for sure, like probably like plus one or like plus two, because it, it it's not a good. I don't think it's good at all. Okay. I'm almost thinking about just playing like knight before now instead of, or I could try bishop before, and it'd just be kind of a pain in the butt. But I, I don't know how useful it will be after like this. Knight b4 has a benefit of clearing up the c pawn. So the pawn can do things. And kind of... I can always think about capturing here. For I'm going to do knight b4. I think that might be slightly better. But still pretty terrible, I think, on... on, on for a large degree. Especially because, like, where is this pawn? Where is this knight going? If he pushes a3, my plan is terrible. This was a horrible plan. My plan sucks. I'm actually... Yeah, this is, this is a terrible plan. But, oh well. Worse things have happened. I have terrible allergies. I used to not have allergies, and maybe like the last. Oh my god! I think I hit something that made the sound way louder, in my headphones at least. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, of course, yeah. Not, not the best move. Um, yeah, I used to never have allergies, but just in the last like two years, I've developed the worst allergies. And it, it makes me think of those, like, memes you'll see where they'll say something about, you know, whenever you're, like, laying in bed sniffling and think about, like, all the good times when you used to be able to breathe. And it's like, uh, yeah, I, I really identify with that because it's kind of the worst. I've taken breathing for granted, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I guess, I, I think I was, like, starting to tell you a little bit about me. But um, I'm a I'm a senior in college. I'm gonna graduate a year from now, uh, hopefully, if everything goes according to plan. Um, I am uh, studying mass media advertising, but I really want to go into like uh, something related to chess. Like I I've kind of uh, been like working around the idea of starting a chess club in my hometown. 
but I really want to do something with chess, is really what it is. Uh, I, I started playing 95. Well, um, it looks like, well, I don't know. What else is he hitting? Just the bishop, but I actually don't care if he takes the bishop, because I'll recapture with the f-pawn, and I think that's fine for me. Um, so I really don't care about that. So I, but I also don't want him to keep his knight there. So it's kind of weird. Um, hmm. My knight's on a6. I'm thinking like c6, knight c7. This is terrible. c6, knight c7. And then like maybe I can... No, I can't. But then he can't push... I don't know. I, I think that's my best plan. I'm Maybe also like bishop d6 is probably a good plan too. But I need to get my knight back into play. And I'm just going to pray he captures my bishop. Um, because I think that's probably, like, the best outcome for me. Uh, yeah, so, I started playing about two years ago. Um, like, I guess I was taught over my whole life, you know? Like, I, I played maybe, like, three quarters of a game a year on average. So, I played, like, a game, like, you know, once a year-ish uh, with my dad or something like that. Uh, until college, and then I think I had like a three-month stint where I started to play. Oh, shoot. That's not what I want. That's terrible. That's that's a bad thing. I don't like this anymore. I don't want to play h6. That feels super weakening. Can I play? Can I play e4? I don't. I think maybe I get trapped. Yeah, I'll be trapped now if I play e4. Wait. Yeah, now I'll be trapped. So I can't really do that. But I can sob uncontrollably. Um. Okay, like bishop d6 maybe. Bishop d6, h5, knight, or bishop captures e5. No, it just won't work. I I think I just have to play h6, which is pretty, I think it's pretty tragic, because this is not, no bueno. This is no bueno. Um, yeah, so basically I knew the rules growing up, but I really didn't know that much about the game at all. Um... And so two years ago, I just started playing, and I started... I know, this is terrible. Uh, um, maybe, like, with, like... No, I don't even think King G7 really helps, because then his bishop would just come to this, and then this is such a target. This is really not great. Um, yeah, I'm in trouble in a big way. Um, yeah, so I, I started playing about two years ago, and really what that consisted of is there was this, it was, my older brother and my dad kind of played, like, intermittently, you know, they would play, like, once a year, where they would play, like, a handful of games, and it was normally whenever my older brother came back, uh, he, he lives, uh, away from me now, across the country, and so whenever he would come back for holidays, uh, he and my dad would play, and I was like, ah, I kind of want to get, like, I want to do this, and so one Christmas break I had, I just spent the whole break, oh my god, why is he doing this to me, alright, my night's on a6, this is, this feels gross, I can't even capture the g horror pawn, I don't want to play queen e7, because it feels like really, really, like, weak play. But I think I gotta. I could move, but that's really not good either. Um, I could play... 
Is knight still on c3? This is bad. Alright. I'm gonna lose... Something's gonna happen here. Maybe I can... That just seems terrible, though. Anyways. Um, yeah, so I spent, like, a whole break. Like, maybe, like, two weeks, basically. And I just sat in front of our fireplace. Because we were burning all of our firewood that we had cut that year. And I sat in front of our fireplace for basically a whole break and just played chess on my phone. Like, five-minute chess on my phone for, like, two weeks straight. And after that, I was, like, pretty addicted. Um, and I really started to, like... The, and the, at first, I started off with a scotch. Uh, but I really, like... And it was very funny because I would play... I would trade off... Is this... Uh... I don't care if he captures, I don't think. So I think it's actually like knight h4 is my move. Knight h5, I mean, sorry. Oh, no, I can't. No, I can't play that. I can, but no, it's going to become it's going to become a problem. It won't really work because my knight will be stuck. And the real problem will be that after a bishop no, it actually... Well, yeah, because after the bishop comes over, the only way I can defend my pawn anymore is to play king h7, then my pawn is pinned to the... pawn is pinned to the king, and I can't... and then he'll capture my knight. So... I'm, I'm in big doo-doo. I think... I think... knight h7, if he doubles, then I'll capture, capture, capture... Wait, that's also a problem. Because he'll just capture the pawn, and then it'll be a double attack on my knight and my queen. <sighs> so, if after that he doubles, then I will just sob uncontrollably. Huh. After he doubles... I think I'm actually just so screwed. This is really depressing. Um, I don't even see an active idea for me. Like, this is devastating. I can't, like, yeah, this is really crappy. Um... Maybe I just capture. If I capture now, then he recaptures. Then I play knight h7. Then if he tries to double on the pawn, then I'll capture the pawn. And then once he attacks, it uh, captures the pawn. So I think I gotta do this, which I don't want to do, but I think it's my move. Um, yeah. And so I got I got really addicted to the chess. I I played the scotch game and traded off all my pieces and just went for rooking games. Like that was like the only way I knew how to play initially. Um. Which is not the worst way to play. Like, it's certainly, like, beneficial, you know, like, educational in a sense. And, uh, I, interestingly enough, my end games are definitely my strongest part of my game. Um, so, you know, I wonder if it has something to do with that. If he plays H4, or F4 here, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna die inside. Um, because that would be truly traumatic. Um, yeah, I'd be so freaking screwed. That'd just be devastating. Anyways, um, yeah, and so uh, I think probably for the first six months, I just played online. Yeah, nice. This is horrific. I need to, like... Re there, there's, like, some chances here where I'm sacking, and, like, if I could get my queen onto that, too... But if I what if I doubled here and he comes there and then captures, captures, and my queen's kind of stuck. It's kind of a double-edged sword, you know. His position opens too. He definitely has like the the lead, but.
Is his back rank clear? It is. Okay. Um, what if I just play... I can't give up the pawn, though. Oh, this is gross. I think this is the pawn structure. I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, maybe I can get some counterplay, like by opening the C file. But probably not. I play this, but I don't really see like another move. It seems like whatever I play, he's gonna play bishop d3, and I'm gonna lose this pawn. I won't be able to defend it. I don't know. This is really, really horrific. The good news is, is I mostly kept track of my pieces. So, um, I guess like some sacks are in order. Capture, 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 capture. I, I'm, I'm think I'm just gonna sack on the G pawn just because, like, you know, I just ought to. So captures, captures, captures here and then like I'm kind of jumping into some annoying squares the real thing is I have to remaneuver I have to remaneuver the I have to remove the queen to one of the other light squares but like I can't really get to because of this pawn should I push it if I push it then he captures well, I would need to do this sacrifice first, and then I would push it. And then after he captures, then I can at least get into light squares. So I'm going to do that. I want my knight instead of my bishop, so that I unclog everything. And also my bishop, my knight will be like, kind of like, helping out with my light squares a little bit. Be better, I think it will be better with my queen... Um, so first, I capture with the rook. Now, see, I'm a little bit iffy on this one, because I would really like to... But I don't want to bring my queen over here and then have it get diverted away. So, I'm going to do I'm gonna do this first. And then I'm going to capture the pawn. Should I even capture the pawn? Should I, Maybe I should just leave it there. I didn't think about this, but this leaves my diagonal, like, really weak. Um, it's a good thing he has a pawn there for right now. Then next is e5. Right? Maybe I should capture it. e5. What's his pawns again? These are... This should be his pawns. No, this is here. So e5 is kind of making him decide what he wants to do here. And if he pushes past, I can close down. If he captures, it gives me access to e6. I think I shouldn't capture this. I think that would be too much. So I elect for e5. Yeah, but, uh, so I, after about six months of, like, playing online, I was looking around for, uh, places to play in town, because I was really starting to crave over the board chess, and so I, I found, like, we have, like, one club in town, literally, like, there, there's a couple, like, school clubs, but, like, you know, they're for middle schools and stuff that I, I mean, obviously I can't join, because I'm in college, but, um, uh-oh, this isn't what I wanted My squares are so weak. Like, this is kind of like a pain in the butt. But I don't know if it really matters. So, I could also play e6 here. Queen e6. Especially now that he's blocked his queen. I think I might do e6. And then... I mean, this is just... I'm getting in here, you know. I'm, I'm coming in. 
So let's 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 see how it goes for me. I don't have time. Yeah. So after about six months, I uh, started going to the club. And whenever I first went, like I just there was a bunch of old, there was a bunch of older gentlemen, and they all just I think I think my first day there was my best day. Okay, now I think I must I think I'm missing something now because it seems like I should oh it's defended. Yeah, that matters, but this should still be fine, kind of. I don't know. Let's try it. Oops, I forgot. Let's see what happens. First day was my best day, where I think I won one out of three games. And then after that, I lost every single game for, like, a month or something like that before I finally started to, like, win one game out of four games. It, it was like we played over four hours, like, at a coffee house, and we play, I'd play maybe four games in a sitting, and I would lose just all of them except for one, maybe, that I'd be able to pick up. And it was probably about two months before I started, like... Take back, my queen is lost. I'll just resign. GG. Alright. A rematch? I want to look at the game real quick. Let's switch over and see. Ah, yes, I can see things. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about the Ichu. I forgot he didn't move it. I forgot a piece. That's okay. I did good on everything else. So, you know, that's a whole thing. But it could be worse. I think I'll just say I don't. I don't want to rematch him. Actually, he left. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, that was. I think that was mostly good because I think I kept track of pieces much better, you know, than I anticipated I would. Um, I've had trouble in the past. All right. This looks like the game state I was in. At least the one I remember. Yeah. I mean, this was just disastrous. It was really gross. H6 was like the... That was the move that was really like... Just broke the camel's back. Before then, it was like I'm worse, but like I can probably pull something together. But I, I really just felt like that was so weakening on my light squares, my, my queen couldn't do anything. Yeah, and probably the better move here was like... Yeah, it's already plus nine. Yeah, this is a miserable position. Let's see, like, where does the computer think it went really wrong? Yeah, DXC4. Yeah, that was a terrible move. Um, it's unfortunate that I played it. But I, I, he had an advantage here as well, I think. I think that, like, it was less prominent, but... B4? Well, I was considering B4. But, yeah. I mean, this is this is nasty. Don't like that at all. But it's probably better than mine. You know, so... Maybe also A5 is a mistake. It's, well, it wasn't losing, but it was maybe just like a waste of time. I gotta sneeze. It's not gonna come out though. Alrighty, well, that was my first game. Um, in this kind of, I guess like a series. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to record a lot of my games here on my like blindfold challenge, uh, so I can get better at it. Maybe here, no, that doesn't work. He'll just play that. This also seems counterintuitive, so. <laughs> he always could have just won it. I mean, this was a disaster already. All right, anyways, uh, yeah. So I'm probably gonna play. I'm going to be playing a lot of my games and recording them, 
uh, just kind of for posterity's sake, and uh, in case I want to look back over them, and I don't want to like you know pull up the just the PNG. Um, also, it will give me a chance to revel in my own failure. Uh, but I hope that you enjoyed my ramblings and um, my desperate attempts to recall the game state. Uh, I will see you guys later. Uh, bye bye.